Hey guys, today I just want to make a simple video because it's Sunday and I'm very busy and it's Easter, which is fun. I just got a new vinyl and I wanted to unbox it with y'all because why not? So today I will be un unboxing, un un I don't know, un whatever in Evermore by Taylor Swift, the vinyl, because it's so pretty, and if I got it on CD, I, I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't. Spring Break's here, so I have basically the next week, so I'll probably make a surprise video just to make up for my lack of interesting videos the past few weeks. So that'll be fun. I'll have a lot of free time on my hands not doing school, so I'll have some interesting videos. Just so you know, I'm in my sister's room because nowhere else has enough privacy. And um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. If you couldn't tell, I got my hair cut a week ago. Looks exactly the same now. So, um, that just goes to show you <laughs> how fast this thing grows. So, anyway, I'm sorry I went on a whole rant. Let's start with the unwrapping <laughs> of Evermore by Taylor Swift. So, um, this is it. I have the sticker still on here because whenever I get a vinyl, I try and keep the sticker and put it on one of the paintings that um, I have on my wall. Okay, this is so pretty. Look. Ugh. They're so pretty. This is the vinyl. Oh my gosh, I should be wearing my Evermore shirt. I do have Taylor merch on, so whatever. Evermore, that is my favorite of this album, Evermore. Because it's just so good. <gasps> Y'all. Beauty. I still have beef with Taylor though. Every single time I get one of her vinyls, there's nothing in it. Except the vinyls, which is acceptable obviously because I just ordered the vinyl but like with Conan Gray you get the vinyl and photos and the lyric pages and everything he does not skimp out on that and if you buy all the different versions of the vinyl you can get all the different lyrics all the different lyric pages and I love the lyric pages they're all different but this isn't about Conan right now so th this is about Evermore and this is amazing. As I said, my room is occupied, so I will not be able to listen to this until later today. So, um, what I'm gonna do is, once I'm able to listen to it, I'll put that up on my Instagram, because that's what I do when I get all my vinyls, basically. So I'll link that down below, and you can go check that out once it's out there. It'll be down in the description. So now I'm basically going to be doing an Evermore review. I'm gonna go through all the songs and share my opinion because y'all care, right? And I know y'all care. Y'all have every reason in the world to care about my opinion, don't you? So first song, Willow. Amazing. I don't know how she sings the chorus. I can't, but um, that, that's not saying much because I literally am not that good at singing at all. I want to, it's my dream, but just have to wait it out a little bit longer. Amazing, Aaron Dessner, great job production. Champagne Problems, for some reason it's everyone's favorite. And like, it's really good. But, um, um, I think y'all, um, oh, oh, I think, I think it's a little overrated. <laughs> and Reputation. 
it was like the first time we had ever heard her like say something bad like like a baddie and now like with midnights every single song she says something and it's like it's not a statement anymore it's kind of just like you're saying it just to say it some of the cuss words she says i i just don't think are necessary but that's just my opinion i don't know it, it if it didn't have it in there i don't know if it'd be as good but champagne problems is pretty good i don't mean to destroy champagne problems if it means anything to you i'm very sorry but there you go gold rush amazing i um read the lyrics because i was like there's no way she actually says this and i was like I don't like that falling, feels like flying till the bone crush, and I like fell to the floor because falling is like flying till the bone crush, but like no one ever thought of that. There's like three different melodies that she uses throughout the song for the intro and the outro, for the chorus, for the verses. I think it's very creative song, really. Tis the damn season. T Tis the damn season. <laughs> Buddy No Crime. Top notch. Classic country song. There's this reputation version of Nobody No Crime that someone edited. And it's literally the best version of this song because it's like a dark I killed him song like when you look at the lyrics so with like reputation-esque production it's scary and it hits hard so go check that out I can link that in description also so you can look happiness and great the dress I wore at midnight like I'm, does she ever sleep I mean relatable but like does she ever sleep Dorothea. Whoever out there is named Dorothea, you're so lucky to have a song after you. Like, I just might change my name to Dorothea. I, I, I don't know. Coney Island. You're hippling depression because he can't write as good as a 30-year-old. You're done. We were like the mall before the in internet. I've actually been sitting here for like a whole minute just like thinking of how I like did I close like did I close my fists around something like what even the belt around something delicate like if this is a long haul how'd we get here so what even is this song? It hurts my soul how good this song is. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Next is Ivy. It's just like. The old little goes to the stone every day. But I don't, I just sit here and wait. Like, she don't care about her husband. A cowboy like me. <laughs> it sounds so me to say. The tennis court was covered up in some tent-like thing. It's giving. I don't know what it's giving. I love Evermore because she talks from so many different perspectives of people and like the diversity and stuff. Cowboy like me, um, like very good metaphor, whatever. Cowboy like me, I don't know H how you say what it is I did not pay attention enough to tell the difference between metaphor and simile whatever I write songs so I should know but I, I don't care I just do what I do and yeah it's, 
it slaps. If you're going to the last show on the Airs tour, and she and the la the closing song isn't long story short, why are you going? Jury. I love the 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 lessons that you learn from the song. I love that her grandma's in the background during the outro. Amazing. Closure. I feel like this is more like about a friend or something. Um, yes, I got your letter. Yes, I'm doing better. Now that it's over, I don't need your closure. Your closure. Evermore. As I said, my favorite song off Evermore. Featuring Bon Iver. As much as I don't like it, I feel like the song just wouldn't be as good without him on the track, writing at least, so I'm glad he's on there. Now it's on to the bonus tracks. Right Where You Left Me is obviously better than It's Time To Go, but um, they're both pretty decent. Right Where You Left Me is basically everyone's second favorite behind Champagne Problems, I assume. It's amazing. I, I don't blame them. I actually agree with them on this one. Right Where You Left Me is... Where You Left Me. We, m my sister and I sing it all the time. So, it's like our song. It's a slam and scream doors. Sneaking out late to fun on your window. But, it's also Right Where You Left Me. Oh, you know, you know, you know. When it's time to go. So then you go. Then you go. You just go. So, I give this album a 9 out of 10. Because there's just some aspect that I think is missing about Evermore that I could have expanded on a little more. I love some of these songs that I'm about to name, but I feel like some of them just don't add to the story and that we could have got something similar with Thea. I love that song. Um, great, great song. I love the beat, but, um, I just feel like it didn't add too much to the album, and it would have been nice if it was maybe a bonus song and Right Where You Left Me could have taken its place. I know Dorothea kind of adds this upbeat vibe to it, but... I just feel like going off of what song is better, Right Where You Left Me, I feel like maybe should take in its place. I understand how Right Where You Left Me might not have fit the image of the album, but I feel like Evermore and Red are similar in the way to how these songs all have the same vibe because it's a collection of work. But at the same time, they're so different in so many ways that I think that Right Where You Left Me could have made it onto the actual album. And Dorothea maybe could have been a bonus track. I don't know. Closure. I get how um, this song might be important to her, considering the fact that I think I know who it's about. But I'm not going to say anything right now because I'm not sure. I'm going to stop touching my hair now. Um... I just think that it could have been a different song. If it's a bonus track, it doesn't have to add anything to the album because it's technically not part of the album. It's just bonus content. So bonus content doesn't have to be good. But when it's on the actual album, that's when it's going to be on the chopping block because, in my opinion, it's just giving me something but it's not providing me for, with what I need. Is that most been a bonus track? I don't know. I just think it might should have been laid off the album because here I think, has the best production. Like, you can do the best you can do. The closure did the best it could possibly do, but that doesn't mean that it was enough. But that's just my opinion. 
I'm sorry I talk so much about it. I'm just trying to explain myself so that if somehow people see this video, don't come and murder me. That's it for the album review. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal about sharing my opinion, but don't come murder me because that wouldn't be very nice. Treat people how you want to be treated. Everything like that, you look good. Like and subscribe, that would really help me out. If you like the video, please do that. And if you have anything to suggest, comments, ukulele, guitar, piano, tutorial, I know all those, instruments, and if you have any lifestyle content, sort of like this, or like anything you can think of, just Put it in the comments and I'll see if I can do it and I'll fit that into my schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this for probably like two hours and then put it out and then it's gonna take two hours for it to upload onto YouTube because YouTube sucks. But I'm not gonna say that because I love all 33 of my subscribers.